Hello there. It's been a moment since I did readings for you. I want to give you some updates connected to your readings. I am going to be creating a channel specifically for Leo Tarot readings. And this channel is going to be linked in the description box below. On that channel, it is going to be all about focusing on the Leo energies and the transits and everything that you're currently going through so that we can dive a lot deeper and we can explore not only the messages from the tarot, not only the channeled messages, but also the transitions connected to astrology that you'll be going through. So go in the description box below, go and subscribe to that new channel, and then we will be meeting there from January onwards. Leo, what we're going to be doing now, we are going to be looking at what you need to know at this present moment in time, what the divine wants you to understand. You are receiving the energies of the magician, Leo, the divine is saying to you that as we are transitioning, as we're going over to the new year, it is going to be really, really important for you to understand that you are the magician and you are the architect of your life. It is important for you to take your power back. It is important for you to stand in your power. And it is important for you to look at your life, at what is currently not working at the moment, what is bringing darkness into your life, and to face this head on. Because by doing so, you will free yourself. By doing so, you'll be able to make that transition into a brighter new beginning. Here, we have the energies of Cinderella that is depicting this magician card. And we know that Cinderella had a challenging childhood, was existing in a challenging situation. But deep down in her heart and in her soul, she knew she was made for something bigger. Equally for you, Leo, you are made to be on the spotlight. You are made for great things. But for some reason, you are not shining your light bright. And so this is why the divine is saying, what you need to know right now is that you are the architect of your life. You are the magician. You hold the magic wand. And so... As your guides, your godparents, your guardian angels, the celestial team that walk with you as they are here now, here in December 2023, asking you, what do you want? What are you going to be able to say? Because just as in the story of Cinderella, she experienced the magic for one day and that she had to go back to her past life. And then... There was a moment where she had to choose whether to stand up and to claim what was rightly hers or to remain upstairs silent when the glass slipper was being presented and everyone was trying it. She had to say, I haven't tried the glass slipper and she had to come downstairs and try the glass slipper. But that moment before she said, I haven't tried, before she presented herself, before she showed herself, she was in a lot of fear. There was anxiety. She was worried about what her stepmother was going to say, what the three ugly sisters were going to say. But she knew that she could not stay in this dark situation any longer. And that inspired her to say something. So right now, the divine is saying to you, where are you not happy? Where are you dimming your light? Where are you playing small? And your guides and your ancestors are here wanting to help you change your situation, wanting to journey with you, travel with you, inspire you, create all the magical moments that you are currently praying for. So this is a confirmation that you need to hear right now. That 2024 is going to be a pivotal moment. There's going to be major changes that are going to be happening for you. But you need to understand that there will be some challenges there. And you are going to be required to do things that are going to take you out of your comfort zone. Are you going to be able to speak up or will you remain silent and watch your blessings and your birthright to abundance, to a life full of joy, to a life full of whatever it is that you want, sleep and pass you by. It is your choice because like I always tell you in my readings, it is your human experience and you get to decide. Just as Cinderella, when she was at that crossroad, 
she had to decide whether she was going to remain silent and remain in darkness or whether she was going to show up, speak up, put her anxiety, stress, worry to one side and to go and try that glass slipper and that moment changed her whole life. So there's going to be something that is going to be happening in the new year that is going to force you to speak up, that is going to force you into a moment of discomfort. And then it's up to you how you are going to show up. What we're going to do next, Leo, we're going to be getting our tarot cards. And as we get our tarot cards, I want to let you know that we have our candle magic ceremony, the last candle magic ceremony connected to the new year is going to be happening on the 12th of December. And as I'm inviting you, it is going to be a moment where you come in and we say our prayers. We look at our intentions and we plant our seeds of what it is that we want to be growing in 2024. So the new moons are all about planting our seeds of intention. And then we go forward feeling empowered, feeling excited about what is unfolding. So I'll say to you, if you're interested in the candle magic ceremony, go in the description box below, go to my website, reserve your space. And not only that, remember to take your time to write your petition, keeping it short and sweet, sending your petition in for me. And then me, my guides and my ancestors will be coming together on that day and we'll be saying our prayers. For those of you who are wanting to learn tarot, the tarot course is available. Go on my website. There's a lot that is available there. And I'm looking forward to working with you. So as we're looking at our Oracle card cards that are here, it is important for you to see that we spoke about energies of standing in your power, standing in your light, and not letting fear and discomfort keep you silenced. Just as Cinderella had to take a chance. Just as Cinderella knew there was something great that was for her out there. The divine is saying as a magician, you are going to have to be brave. You are going to have to roll the dice and you are going to have to take a chance that allows the new beginning to come in. You are going to have to take a chance because now as you are remembering that you are the architect of your life, what do you want to see happen if you held a magic wand right now what would you create are you brave enough to go on that journey it's interesting that the card above take a chance was the three of coins so for some of you there are major changes connected to your money your wealth your resources your health there is something beautiful that is coming in but i want you to observe the energies of the three of coins Again, there is something that is there that is wanting to cut you down, that is wanting to keep you small, that is wanting to keep you disempowered. Because when you are disempowered, when you are playing small, other people are able to use you, other people are able to harness your energies, other key people are able to take your vitality, your brilliance, and use it for their own gains. Just as the stepmothers and the three ugly sisters used Cinderella, other people are doing the same to you. So you can do your cord cutting ceremony, your banishing ceremonies. You can return to sender these energies so that you can free yourself to go on a new journey, on a new beginning where your heart is full, where you are at peace, where you have that essence of gratitude because you are now walking in a new direction and leaving this darkness behind you. So the energies of the three of coins is saying to you, take a chance when it comes to your money, when it comes to your resources, do something different. Invite an energy that is going to be helping you make the right decisions. And remember, Cinderella had the three, what were they called again? comment in the comment section below when i'm up there somewhere sometimes i'll forget stuff that is down here so in the comment section below you know who's a cinderella head so it's equally for you you have your guides you have your ancestors you have your guardian angels and you are working with divine timing so divine is saying that you cannot let this chance slip you by that is going to change the rest of your life 
okay so in the comment section below i want you to comment that emoji of the dice if you are now understanding what it is that you need to do what direction you need to go into we can see that not only do we have our money that is here that is good not only are you now realizing that you are the architect of your life and it is up to you to go back to the drawing board and to start visualizing and creating the life that you want just as an architect they have to work with the blueprints what is the blueprint for 2024 are you going to take that moment to really zone in accepting that you are the architect of your life and making the decisions that 2024 will be different well if you don't have a plan like they say you plan to fail so energies of the three of coins is here we're seeing that your money is good you're collaborating with other people which are your guides your ancestors and your and your guardian angels because they are walking with you on this journey so here you can see now you've climbed the mountain you're not at the top yet but you've made progress and we can see that the golden river is flowing the gold is flowing we spoke about resources we spoke about our money and we spoke about much much more and the divine is saying that the journey that you're going to be going on yes sometimes it might look like you're climbing a big mountain but don't worry about that because your guides your ancestors your guardian angels are walking with you leading you to that fountain of gold that is going to be flowing towards you so there are golden opportunities connected to you taking a chance the divine is saying to you though leo it is important for you to understand that as you're going on this journey self-care is going to be important because for some of you you have been neglecting yourself you haven't been taking care of yourself you haven't been showing up and the divine is saying it is time for self-love because self-love is important as you are taking a chance okay as you are here having new beginnings connected to the energies of the ace of wands connected to your passion your fire your drive what gets you excited the divine is saying to you it is important for you that you understand that taking care of yourself is vital because it allows you to be in an energy of excitement vibrancy but when you don't take care of yourself when you neglect yourself you fall into the energy of burning out you fall into the energy where your vibration is not as high as it should be so yes life has been difficult like cinderella didn't take care of yourself she was wearing rugs she didn't present herself in an amazing way so the divine is saying for you equally it is time for you to show up brilliant looking good feeling good so do the healing that you need to do take a rest do whatever it is that you need to do to make sure that you are allowing time for self-care the divine also wants you to understand that your dreams are going to be revealing important information especially because we were here speaking about cinderella and we spoke about cinderella's situation and so the divine is saying that your guides and your ancestors your guardian angels your team your spirit team is going to be revealing important information in your dreams so please do pay attention because it is going to be taking time effort for your guides and your ancestors to get these messages to you so maybe keep a journal by your bed as soon as you get up instead of picking up your phone and starting to scroll write whatever it is that you remember from your dreams and as you review your dreams in january 2024 things are going to make a lot of sense and this is the message that your guardian angels the divine wanted you to receive and again remember to go to the description box below and to go and subscribe to your new channel and we are going to be meeting there in the new year and we're going to be really putting in energy passion to really inspire you to go on this journey that is going to be changing you that is going to be helping you that is going to be inspiring you to take the chances that you need to take so leo if you found value in this reading remember to comment that dice in the comment section below that emoji of the dice and also remember to go to your new channel and to subscribe to the channel and i'm going to be seeing you there for december we still be meeting here as we are funneling and you know ushering everyone to the new channel and exiting this channel 
this channel is going to be coming something that is going to be inspirational but i'll speak about that later on in the year on that note i'm going to see you in, a, in your next reading it's a goodbye for me